Hello again and welcome to another episode of Rain Plays. We are still in the fashion district. We are still at 21 Sheik Street, but this is apartment 1310. And I've moved in junior samples. If you get that, I hope you get a little chuckle out of it. He's a cheerful insider and a dance machine and his aspiration is friend of the world. I knew he was gonna come up like eight out of 10 times he does and I just went with him this time. Very tiny apartment, very quick video. I hope you don't mind that. Not much to talk about other than I had an odd experience with YouTube yesterday. I ended up going down on rabbit hole that I rather would not have done. But the odd thing about it was I don't know why they were recommending these kids to me. And uh, some of these videos went back as far as 2016. I don't know what I did to get these. I have never even heard of them, but I don't know what I did to get them on the right side of my YouTube page. I have no idea. But I ended up watching them. My thinking is that I watched an episode of Cold Ones. And because Keemstar was on it, they started recommending a bunch of drama channels. I don't know. I mean, I also watch uh, Nerd City. That could be it too. I don't know. But I thought it was odd because, I, like I said, I've never even heard of these people. I just don't get how it happened. But I ended up clicking on one video and I spent the entire day listening to this and it was so depressing. I'm pretty sure I've said before. Drama is not an issue for me as long as it isn't gossip. There's a huge difference between gossip and drama and I don't think a lot of people realize that. If someone comes to you in desperate need of an ear because they're going through something that's not that's not gossip especially if you don't then turn around and tell everybody else you know what sh what she or he experienced and why they came to you in tears that's gossip and they call themselves drama channels when in reality they're gossip channels they're dishing the dirt on other people but the worst part about it is they postulate these young kids who act like they've never committed a crime or a sin in their life, and yet they have the right to judge their peers based on what their peer did. And the way I see it is, you mean you got away with murder and he didn't, therefore you are free to judge him. And I just don't like it, I think it's wrong. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I kept listening to this. Uh, there were like three different fellas doing basically the same thing. But what it boiled down to was they started... Excuse the French here. They started shit-talking each other. And one person's video made the other person angry. So that person went off on, on that video. And then the third person would jump in and say well I think you're both idiots and then the first person would come back and say screw you <laughs> like really and I know like I said I know they're young and that's the problem first of all the average person does not even reach the age of mental maturity until around 30 33 and these kids are in their early 20s talking like they're 56 and they just have it all figured out <laughs> that drives me nuts too but they're your peers and you are trying to not only destroy their career but you're throwing them under the bus and you're ruining what friendship you did have why don't you see that why why don't you realize that and what makes anyone think that's okay? I just don't get it. But the PC mentality that 
somebody who behaved abominably at age 15, by the way, now at age 24, 25, needs to be raked over the coals for it. Because this, this gossip columnist has deemed it so. It just, it's so sad. And I've mentioned this in previous videos. I do hope and I do pray for you that at some point you look back on this and, and cringe even for five minutes because that would show some form of maturity. You've matured to the point where you know how dumb you behave and that it was wrong and you never should have done it in the first place. I just, I, I, it was a weird day. Cause like I said, why, <laughs> why are you recommending this stuff? Where, where did this come from? Where did these kids, I have no idea who these kids are. I don't know how that, that works. I've always had a problem with um, artificial intelligence, knowing enough about me to be able to recommend anything. I just think it's creepy. I don't want them knowing anything about me. I mean, it's horrible when you're, you're not even using your phone. And call it coincidence, I don't even consider it coincidence anymore because it's happened too many times. You're just thinking about something, for heaven's sakes. And then you go onto a website and the ads are all targeted toward what you're thinking. How, how did... I did not even ask a search engine about this. And yet you know I have a migraine and I'm thinking about buying some Aleve? How do you know this? How do you know that I was driving around the other day just looking at apartments? I didn't go online. I didn't say, where is this apartment? How much is the rent? You know, what's the smallest? I didn't do that. And yet, the ads are targeted toward that, no matter what website I go to. That is creepy. And I don't like it. For YouTube to recommend these to me based on what I'm watching, and I'm telling you, I'm almost positive that I have unclicked, especially on Google. Google offers you the opportunity to track. And I always say, no, none of your business. Stay out of my business. So I don't know how that works. But anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.